What if you could take any SDL of an all-on-4 case direct to multi-unit or with tire bases and had no scan flex, but could design a bar and split it from that SDL to mill a Sikonia hybrid or an overdenture with titanium bar. So let's quickly set up the order form with implant sites as bar pillars and we're gonna import also a scan body scan which we're gonna make ourselves. I don't have one, I only have one scan. We're gonna press control and assign all the other sites with bar pillars as well and then just like an all-on-4 case, we're going to make the pawn takes as bar segments. Then we're going to save the order form and go into the design. We only have one scan and only this one scan we're going to import as our jaw scan and our um, scan body scan. Then before we're going to go into the library, we have to modify our scan body scan a little bit, which is our pre-up scan, which is our scan that we have. I'm going to go to expert mode. I'm going to right click and press edit mesh. And in the menu, you only select on surface and that will only mark the first layer and it doesn't go all the way through. Then I mark just quickly around the multi-unit sides. I'm going to invert the mesh and I'm going to delete the rest of the mesh. I'm going to turn it around and if there are a little bit of floaters, I can modify those. I'm going to invert the triangle so I have a positive side. Then I'm going to do the same thing with uh, jaw skin. I'm going to just turn it around, right click on it and press edit mesh. And just before on the scan body side, I'm circling around, around it. It's not so important how clean it is, not so important how well you do this. All we need is a positive side for a jaw. If there are a little bit open areas, I'm going to circle those two, invert it, delete it, turn it around. Again, if you have a couple of floaters, select those and delete them. Right click it, show triangle mesh, invert triangle mesh, so you have a positive side, click OK and go to the next step. Now comes the important part. I'm gonna go to tools, add mesh, and I'm gonna add a pre-up scan. And we're gonna need this pre-up scan later in the bar design, just as a guidance. But now, when we go to the assigning of the actual implant sites. I'm gonna orientate this mesh here before I'm gonna move forward. Before we're gonna go into the actual sites, I am gonna go and assign a special library I made. And you can download this Miles library on my Patreon page. It has all the connections in there, all the different parts for Strauman or for Noble Biocare. And I'm going to click here for Strawman direct to multi-unit bar for metal location. It's a little bit thinner of a gap between the screw and the material. And I'm just going to click on it and it assigns it really nicely. And then here, I'm going to have assigned my scan body scan from the um, pre-up scan. Now I'm going to move forward. I don't need to have any immersion profiles here. I don't need to assign anything. I'm going to quickly, really quickly, doesn't have to be perfect, set up a pre-design. That's just to determine for the bar where it should go. Don't go crazy here. Don't spend a lot of time here. You don't need this anymore because we already have our pre-up scan. We're gonna go forward with a bar design and in the bar design, I don't want to go really detail on the bar design. There are many, many YouTube videos out there how to design bars. Maybe I'm going to do one myself one day. But the first thing is I'm going to assign my occlusal plane, so to speak, with three points. Click on advanced and then round it. I'm going to move the edges. Sometimes they tilt in a little bit. I'm going to move them out a little bit and make the bar straight so it's in one nice line. You can grab the little dots that are on sides of the bar and make it nice in a nice curve in one. You have to do it on both ends. Then double click and hold control on the little arrow there. It will move, it will snap the bar to the occlusal plane. I'm gonna set the thickness to 0 0.6, so it intersects a little bit with the gap, and that's, that's the only reason why we needed our jaw scan for. I'm gonna move the bar about in the middle of the pillars, and it depends to the case. I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker, hold control here, 
get the, um, the, the pillars a little bit down to the same edge. And then I'm going to move the little dots in the middle of the pillars and make them thick because you want to have a parallel surface of the bar. You cannot have the pillars in there when they are tilted and when they are going in all that different direction. That doesn't create an even insertion direction. So make sure you're going to tilt those out a little bit. If you want to add another point, hold the control key, click on the line and you can add another point. So I'm going to make it as thin as possible. Um, double check it with the pre-up scan so that there are no intersecting areas into the pre-up scan because that will create holes later on in the zirconia or the denture. I'm going to make the bar pillars a little bit more narrow like a cone shape and you can do this on all bar pillars. Some can be straight, some can be parallel here. This is okay. I'm going to fix this later on. If it's intersecting a little bit, I can fix all these things with smoothing. So with light smoothing, don't hold the shift key, don't hold anything crazy, very light smoothing. Smooth the edges of the bar. You don't want to go crazy. You don't want to over smooth and create any undercuts. Undercuts will create non-inserting actions. Here's the deal. If you've been enjoying this content in these videos, why not hit the subscribe button and give it a like up. Making these videos is truly a labor of love and I'm always putting my heart and soul into these videos to get you the best content ever. If you're subscribing to this channel, if you like it, if you share it with your friends, it motivates me to push even harder to get you even better contacts in the next week. Now, the bar is completed and it looks beautiful. I'm gonna go to save, right click, export the scene as a mesh, and I'm gonna name it number two, just the bar. Then I'm gonna click OK, save and I'm going to save it in the same coordinate system as before. I'm going to bring in my jaw skin, do the same thing, export to mesh, and I'm going to call it one and bar with base. That's my base that I'm going to import later on in the next order form. Same ordering system for good reasons. Maybe I shifted anything here. I'm going to export the pre-up again. I'm going to click yes, same coordinate system, and then I'm going to do something special to the pre-up. When we copy the pre-up later on, we don't want to have the interfaces of the multi-unit in there. So what I'm going to do is select only the surface, circle carefully around the multi-unit interface, delete it, and inside you can see there are some floaters in there. So select to surface only and zoom in and highlight only this floater. Then go to select straight through and circle the entire hole and click on close holes. I'm going to do all of this for all the other sides. I'm going to close all the holes. I'm going to delete all the floaters. And that's what I'm going to do to the pre-up scan, which I need later. I'm going to export this again as a mesh. I'm going to just click on the same thing. You can call it pre-up scan solid. You can call it what pre-up um, pre scan adjusted. I'm going to call it pre-up scan adjusted, but you will see later, later I called it solid. Right click on the new um, CAD module. Open a new CAD module. Open just the bar and assign it a Pontic site. Just click on, I'm just going to click on Pontic. Any number works. Click next, click finished, put it in the same orient system, design the gingival, and here you can set the properties to the cement gap that you want to have between the denture, the cornea, and the bar. I'm going to put 0 0.3 here. You can put something else, depends to you. I'm going to turn it around, only make this visible only makes the bottom visible and i'm gonna save it out as a mesh number five virtual bottom i'm num i'm numbering always my my scan so it makes it easier for me save it in the scene save it in the same coordinate system go to expert mode edit mesh and then i'm gonna turn it around and i'm gonna click all and now you can see click on close holes and it will close all the holes of this virtual bottom. Now I have a nice tool. I can 
delete, I, I can look at it. I can then export it as a mesh color number six bar cutter. Click yes and save it out in the same coordinate system. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna exit out. I don't need this anymore. I don't need this scene anymore. So you don't have to save anything. You can keep it. Now I'm gonna go into the same order form that I did before, but I'm replacing all of this with Pontic wax up you can override it you can create a new order form it's completely up to you i'm overriding it i'm going into design i'm going to import the bar with the mesh and i'm going to import the pre-up solid remember the one that i cut out the little multi-order units if you run the wax up calculation here it will fail really easy trick go to expert mode go to tools add remove mesh and add just another wax up scan and you're going to import the same scan again yes and exocad will tell you okay i'm going to move this i'm going to um i'm going to i'm going to exchange this and now the wax up calculation actually works so you're going to go to add remove mesh and what you're going to import is another virtual scan i'm going to import the bar the bar cutter actually that I made previously in, in, in the previous order form. Click OK. Then on merge on and after it's merged, I'm going to go to a freeform merging. And what I'm going to do here, I, I can see actually if the bar is intersecting with my design, with my wax up calculation here, I'm going to click on add just fill up the holes so I don't create in any holes fill it up with a plus sign smooth it out a little bit then go to attachment subtract go to load it's all the way down on the bottom load scan data and it's a bar cutter again press rotate allow any changes and apply and then the bar will cut out the bar out of the zirconia add remove mesh um, just for good measures, I'm going to get only the bar scan in again, just to look at it. And here, what we're going to achieve is we're going to have our zirconia restoration with a bar that is perfectly cut out just out of one scan. I only had this one scan with Thai bases or with direct to multi unit. I had nothing else. I separated the bar from the design and now I can mill it out beautiful it's a very easy workflow you can download the libraries from my patreon page thank you so much for watching the video i hope you liked it and if you did give it a thumbs up that will help this channel to move on forward if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get updated on all future videos i also have a patreon page where you can download a lot of things you can download libraries you can download manuals and all the other tools that are always presenting on this channel